Mm. All right, here we go. Okay, just got done out in the garden and brought in some things that are ripening so we can get this started. This is the garden 2024. First one, Thunder Mountain Longhorn. I wanted to get this in because it's starting to wrinkle on the, uh, on the plant, so uh, as soon as these start turning red, I may start bringing them in. But anyway, this is a Thunder Mountain Longhorn plant. I grew this one from seed, so that it is one of mine. I have no problems with it being just a little bit green over here. Uh, we will see how they taste. The other one, and I am going to probably eat the little rot spot. Ah, I probably cut it off. But this is a, I'm gonna butcher this, guys. But this is a sweet pepper. It's a Trevena Chutska, I think. But anyway, it is a lovely ripening red color. I wanted to get this one because of that spot. But that's not too bad. I can hack that off and then enjoy a pepper. This is supposed to be a sweeter, sweeter pepper. I don't know if it has a little bit of heat or not. We will find out. This is, I believe, Polish? It's in that area. It's in Eastern Bloc of uh, Europe. So we will see. Anyway, first, Thunder Mountain Longhorn. Um, I've always wanted to grow these. I love the way they look. I love the length on them. Um, they are a sweet kind of cayenne style. They are a cayenne type pepper. Um, it, it is soft. Once again, it was doing that on the plant. So you could probably take these in green and be totally fine, but let's chomp. I don't want to see. It's just a, it's just a long ass skinny pepper. So I bet there's a, a quite a few seeds, but So it does that uh, <coughs> Ooh, that is back of my throat. Mm. So anyway, it does have an immediate heat. Uh, it's very gaseous. So it just kind of fills the mouth. Um, It is very fresh cayenne. Um, there's a little bit of sweetness. It does have the green because of that tip, but it is light sweetness. Um, it's not an overbearing flavor. This is definitely something I would add to cooking for uh, very nice light flavors with a decent amount of heat um, for normal cooking. If I'm not, well, I probably, I might make sauce with it, but um, I would definitely throw this in with like noodles or like a sauce that's going over something. This would be perfectly fine. Guys, I apologize. I am so sweaty. Uh, <clears throat> it was like over 100 degrees today. So I am just trying to relax. I haven't showered for more yet, so this is what we're doing. It's all tongue heat. It's all pretty easy. This is a really light pepper. It's got a good flavor. I definitely recommend growing it. Um, if you're trying first, just something like visually really neat and just like a good useful like kitchen pepper there's nothing wrong with these okay traditional chopper chopper this one let's see how deep that problem goes there it was all right cool so this one did whoops get into that is the inside of the pepper so that rot was starting i'm glad i pulled this one when i did here we go i'm gonna just this was about to come off anyway so that's a delightfully sweet pepper Let's make sure this is okay on the inside. Yeah, we have some black seeds. That's perfectly fine. I'll eat them. Very nice. Um, medium to bordering on thick walls. Feels like a really standard pepper. Um, I do love the red. It's a nice healthy red. It is a little dark. Um, this one, I didn't know what to expect. Some of the peppers I saw were like hand-sized big. Mine aren't. 
perfectly fine, as long as they're snackable peppers. Kind of waiting on this heat to die down just a little bit. This may have a little bit of heat behind it, but let's see. All right, we'll see if the heat gets worse. That is a really tasty pepper. I think this does have a little bit of heat to it because it's starting to spread around my mouth. Got a little bit of a shim in it, but that's fine. That is a really nice pepper. Even with the seeds, I'm not getting a whole lot of bitterness. Honestly, there's a pretty good amount of flavor. It's very like nicely sweet, um, great pepper flavor, very ripe pepper flavor. Again, I'm just gonna return to that sweetness. Like it's a very, very pleasant taste. And there's a light bit of heat. It is adding to what I've got already, but I would say no more than like three to five thousand if that my tongue's just already on fire from the uh thunder mountain longhorn so oh yeah i'm very pleased with that plant and it is putting out a ton of pods very early too so i'm very happy for it i'm gifting a couple to my friend um so she can have something that's really really tasty oh yeah there we go but yeah, no, that's just from the garden. That's what I'm ripening up first. Um, kind of an update. I was going to do it with the hurtberry, but the hurtberry got me. Um, I think every plant um, outside in the backyard doing the wading pool ones with the compost. And I did add uh, red worms. So they do have a full thing going. Um, my atomic grape has died off. My brand new wine tomato has died off. Um, I did lose the macula, which I'm kind of sad at, but that's fine. I can always try again next year or even this year if I get really bored. Um, but all the auto pot plants are starting to bush out. The ancho is behind just a little bit and I did replace the chocolate bonnet that did die. I don't know what happened. Um, it just did not like what was going on. So it gave up. I replaced it with a scorpion butch tea, uh, plant. And that's what I'll have going forward in one of the 12 pots. But everything else has nice, bushy plant characteristics. It's putting on fruit, putting on flowers. We're doing great, great things. Um, I have some really big pods coming up. The seven pots are doing really well. Uh, the Chocolate Champions, I think both have pods. One of them, uh, the one I started in soil, which was the first one I had <clears throat> for my seeds, is doing fantastic. And I think it has some larger pods uh, the Brain Strain, uh, Chocolate Brain Strain is also one I'm really excited for, and it has one giant pod going, and there's a couple following after it. Seven Pot Mustard also has some giant pods. Uh, the Spaghetti Albino is doing great. I can't wait for that to ripen more. I think that's going to be more of a brown uh, color, and I'm really excited for it. What else was out there? Um, the Chiltepin put on a ton of flowers. I'm really excited. Just I just love Chiltepins. Um, a great hot sauce pepper if you've never had one. It tastes like exactly what you want out of hot sauce already, so you have to do very, very little work to it. Uh, the Blushing Beauty is putting out some bells that are really, really nice and putting out a ton of them. I will have to see when that looks right. I don't know if they ripen red or if they do other things, so I will see what that is doing. Um, I have a couple of pumpkin spice, ha uh, almost said habaneros, pa uh, eh, jalapenos that are ripening, they're starting to put on the orange, so I'll wait for those to darken just a little bit and I'll pull them off the plant. What else? The Trangelbane Slim Jim has a ton of pods. I'm actually really, really impressed with that Matt outdid himself with that plant. That cross is taking off, excuse me, greatly. Uh, what else is there? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, the Papadretti Scotch Bonnet. 
has some really good looking pods and they look fantastically on Fino. So I'm extremely excited for that. Was there any, the mine habanero is doing really good. Lots of bullets uh, starting to pop up. What else is out there? The Chuchka is doing very, very good. Um, the Defcon Griefer has some terrifying looking pods. That one is going to suck. So I look forward to that and making y'all another video where I hate myself. And y'all absolutely get to laugh at my misery. So all the updates are doing really, really good. I'm very excited for this season. We're doing great things. And I'll definitely be doing the waiting pool again, especially with the compost bin. And we'll go forward. Also, my okra's doing banger. I'm getting pods. Yay long, like six to eight inches long. Um, I'm trying to pick them as early as I can, but let them get long enough so I'm they're usable. My fantasy, or my, not fantasy, uh, fairy tale eggplant, basically think eggplant about yay long uh, in a bush. Uh, that's doing great. I just pulled another one off of it. I think I pulled six or seven fruits off already. My squash plant, my acorn squash plant is doing great. It is spreading out like crazy, kind of a problem. Uh, the uh, hot, uh, Hungarian hot wax peppers. I've got two more um, ripening. They're in the orange stage. I'm gonna wait till they're red. They are fantastic peppers. I snacked on one that was just starting to ripen and they are, they're kind of sweet. They got a really good heat, probably a hotter habanero, or not habanero, I keep saying it, jalapeno heat. Those bad boys are really tasty. Um, I look forward to sharing those with some coworkers and stuff like that. So it's going really well. I Like I said, I have had some losses, but I have seeds for more stuff and I can do it later. Um, I'll probably update some of the inside stuff. Those are doing really good. Um, I'm keeping up with watering them, making sure the roots don't get dry. Uh, they're doing really good. I've got buds, I've got flowers. Um, I'm trying to get them to take off on the inside because I've got a seven pot, pe or seven pot peach. Secret Potion Red, Gator Jigsaw. Uh, I think orange. Yeah, and Da Bomb Pepper. So we're gonna see how those do. And hopefully my um, Primo uh, Primo Lucifer really bounces back from the stupid aphid thing that I have no idea how I got. Um, hopefully it, it bounces back. I released some ladybugs in there with the tent that's in the V-Grow tent. And then I've just got some other stuff going on. So that's my update going going forward. Hopefully that wasn't too fast and hopefully y'all are still interested. Please, please like and subscribe guys. I wanna keep doing this and I wanna make y'all, I, I just wanna show off for y'all. I wanna have fun. That's what this channel's for, and hopefully we're all having fun um, raising hot stuff and just putting ourselves through it. And hopefully y'all garden, y'all's gardens are doing great. Update in the comments. Tell me what's going on. Um, I try and talk with everybody. So have a good day, guys.